We are seriously at a tipping point. I don't know, I worry, I don't know how many people actually are aware of how close we are to losing our country as founded. The new menace to liberty is groupthink gone global. The globalization of groupthink is guilefully disguised under the green fig leaf of pietistic environmentalism. From behind that fig leaf emerges today's tumescent totem of totalitarian tyranny, climate change. Far left socialism has now taken over the Democratic Party, a new radicalism. Because their view is to use climate change as the cause of bringing about global socialist control over the economy. Their goal is central planning and socialism. Their means is dealing with climate change. Many are saying, Facebook is full of this, that the storms are proof of global warming, never mind their lectures. These people on the left that you've described, the mob behavior, is really a series of psychological disorders that have taken over politics. We have politicized psychological disorders. <laughs> Police said that he told them that all liberals should be killed because they were ruining the country. It appears that what brought him to this horrible event was his lack of being able to obtain a job, his frustration over that, and his stated hatred for the liberal movement. One of the books police found in Atkinson's apartment was Michael Savage's Liberalism is a Mental Disorder. Liberalism is in essence the HIV virus and it weakens the defense cells of a nation. In it, Savage calls liberals the enemy within our country, an enemy more dangerous than Hitler, traitors who are dangerous to your survival and who should be placed in a straitjacket. Police said that Adkison had targeted the Unitarian Universalist Church because of its liberal teachings. Socialism is evil, period.